When they talk about things in Texas are bigger, this is bigger, baby. <laughs> you just can't make this up, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Red River Living, y'all. Um, today we're up to something a little bit different than what we've been up to. Um, Thanksgiving is coming on and it's Christmas season and Debbie and Keely have been putting up lights left to right decorating the house and I come up with this bright idea to build the grandkids a Christmas tree. And as you can tell, I've got some wood in my hand, I've got some black pipe and some PVC pipe. And our goal is to build us about a 20 foot Christmas tree. We're gonna build a star here in just a few minutes. Um, None of this stuff I've ever done before. I uh, watched a short tutorial on the star a while ago. So we'll see how the star comes out in a minute. So we have watched our tutorial, stressed a little bit, and kind of laid it out and finally come to consensus that this is going to work. And right now what I'm about to do is try to put it together with some screws here so to hopefully withstand our North Texas wind. Right here, just put it in the middle of it. Push. Well, I want you to line it up. Hold down. Hold down. You hold down? Yeah. All right, hold down on it. Do you have lots of help? I've got lots and lots of help. I got Cookie Monster. <laughs> All right. Are y'all got to get happy with we'll putting play, putting boards in place now? Are y'all happy yet? I do this. You go doing this. All right. Hold down on it then. You holding down on? All right. Let Briley let him do it. Of all places to be, on my knees, on the cold concrete floor. <laughs> you just can't make this up, y'all. Okay, just put the last screw in. He's got a screw in his mouth. It's right here. This. <laughs> so we flipped it over and we're just trying to reinforce it a little bit. And our hopes are that this will stay together. Might try to get one screw into both boards maybe. We are trying to figure out how step by step I'm gonna do all this. And what we've done is we've got the star built. Then I started brainstorming how we're gonna attach it to the pole. And we've come up with us, hey, materials around the shop. We've come up with us a couple clamps here and a piece of rebar. And this is gonna slide down our black pipe later on to hold the star on. So I'm gonna take a little bit of electrical tape and tape this to where it'll stay in place. Up close, it ain't gonna be very pretty, but at a distance, I hope it looks pretty good. So as you can see here, I bought me a round board. This is gonna go at the top of the pole right here. And I basically have laid it out like a clock. And each, basically, each number on the clock is gonna represent a strand of lights. So we'll end up using 12 strands of lights for the light runners going back to the ground. Um, what I'm gonna do here, this will be attached to the top of the pole. I still need to drill me a hole 
at each number. Um, then I'm going to attach this to the block, and this will screw in to my pipe, and that'll be my topper up top eventually. That's what this piece right here is going to be. So now we're back at our plate piece here, so that our star eventually can slide down through here. I'm going to drill us a hole in the center. Okay, so I've drilled us a hole about the center. Now I'm going to attach this as the piece. This will attach this plate to the top of our pipe eventually. drill press at the moment. How and, old is this thing? Well that I don't know but I do know that it belonged to somebody here in town at one point and it was in a garage sale and I picked it up so that the person that might watch this video they might need to know that it came from her dad's. So we'll see if um, Miss Cynthia or Mr. Rusty ever notices that or not. She's not plugged in. Power. Power. Assist. Meanwhile. Thor, are you getting some loving? Are you getting some loving? So we've got our hose drilled. This is where we'll run zip ties and attach our lights later and all. So now we're gonna, this is our top piece. And we'll screw this on. Okay. How our star is going to look up top. How's that look? Looks really good. I've got our coupler right here. Uh, Jared's run out there to get our other piece of pipe. So and how tall is this going to be? Well, now that we put the coupler on it, it's probably going to add an inch. So it's going to probably be 20 feet, one inch is tall. <laughs> We've got our PVC pipe here. This is how I intend to anchor it at the ground level itself. I saw one of these, they made it to where it was a stand. We're not gonna do it necessarily as a stand. I'm just gonna use this to zip tie my lines to the ground itself. I thought about using stakes and I just felt like with the wind blowing, it would pull them back out of the ground. So here, um, I've just bought us some pieces to They don't have to be teased. They don't have to be teased. That's all I could find at Lowe's yesterday. So I just picked up these tees to use. plug in right here I guess is all.
let him get one end of that. How much does that thing weigh? I'm not sure how much this weighs. But I just want y'all to know, when they talk about things in Texas are bigger, this is bigger, baby. <laughs> this here is what I call a two-man T-Post driver. <laughs> if somebody in the comments will ask, I would be glad to share the story as to why this was built. Oh my goodness, my arms hurt. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> well, you hold it, man. <laughs> It'll be worn out by the time you get it over there. Oh, there you go. You got it? You can get one into that. I can get it like this. Everything's bigger in Texas. You ready? I just. Alright, hold up now. <laughs> I want y'all to know that a buddy of mine went to a welding shop in August and said, hey, I need a T-post driver. And no boy looked at him and said, well, I believe you can go to the store and buy one cheaper I can build it for. He said, no, I need a T-post driver. Anyway, he described to him, and I think this is six inch pipe, and um, he built this T-post driver for us. And um, later on, I'll have to share the story behind the T-post driver. But anyway, it is a two-man lift. I think we need to go all the way down to the T-post, because that'll be that much sticking up. I won't. So how much is sticking up right now? This much. All right, let's go one more time. What I forgot to do, was I forgot to call 1-800-DIG before we started driving this in the ground. That's all she got. Oh my gosh. So that's how you drive a piece of pipe in the ground, boys <laughs> and girls. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we've done is I've sat down with pencil and paper and as best I could try to figure out how much distance we need here. Um, I figured it out to where we need about 21 feet to come off the top and get to our bottom. And then we'll add two feet, move it over and go back up with another strand. Um, I've zip tied to start right here. We originally, originally we thought we needed to have to have some power up here for our um, star but since we're going to start right here with this end i'm going to use this to power our star so i'm going to go ahead and cut our um, cable off we won't need this We were doing something and I had planned on 12 strands of lights. And I initially, the way I was doing it, I was about to end up with 24 strands and run, and run short on the amount of lights I had. Luckily, luckily, Keely's father-in-law stepped in and saved the day. Thank you, Randy. You're welcome. <laughs> we got it, we figured it out. We're almost done. It's going to be so cool. I almost said my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> so what we're doing right now is we're zip tying it to the bottom plate so that um, the wind doesn't make it spin. And <laughs> who knows what the wind's going to do to this thing when it's said and done. Hopefully it stays up till Christmas.
said he wasn't a miracle worker. <laughs> Alright. So, we basically have a 30 foot circle. We've got 12 strand of lights. So, it's on it, it's just, it's just the, yeah, I think. I didn't take calculus. I think your pi square was a little bit short of a slice. <laughs> Okay. You, was look, you was explaining all that to me, and I was like, okay. I haven't used pie square the, the, the math is right. <laughs> well, guys, like most projects we do here at Red River Living, the sun has finally set, and we've got the tree plugged in. With a lot of help um, and refiguring on stuff, we were able to pull this off tonight. Um, I hope the grandkids love it. They'll be outside in just a few minutes. They've seen the lights on, but they haven't seen it staked down and everything just yet. Thank y'all for watching. We'd appreciate it if y'all would like and subscribe. See y'all next time.